Okay, my name is Freddy Garcia. Uh, this is going to be my King 400 final, and let's get started. So, reading the death of Ivan, how do we consider a life? Uh, yeah, so when reading that that story, it really, uh, it really touched base with me because I had a near-death experience myself in a critical car accident. My buddy was driving, and unfortunately, he was texting, and we went 50 head first into another lane where uh, I fractured my back, and... Uh, I had my own near-death experience and, you know, it really does make you reflect on, you know, the type of life you had and and uh, it is scary to think about and it's something that I know a lot of people, you know, don't tend to focus on. But for me, when that happened, um, I think it really made me take a step back and reflect on my character and who I want to become because I'm grateful that I'm still here today. Um so we'll take a look at the next question. What deep hunger in the world do you see yourself being able to meet? So the deep hunger in the world uh, that I want to meet is just being a light for people, being able to motivate people, uh, being able to be a good father, uh, a good husband, just being a good person in general. I believe that's going to be uh, my hunger is just to be a good person. Uh, how my authenticity, virtue, exemplary and vocation help make good judgments about a life that matters so the quote i wanted to kind of look back on is how shall i tell the story of my life right and i feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with this question with awesome authenticity is like what kind of person do i want to be and how do i want to handle you know tough situations um i think with anything, if I do have a certain circumstance of like grief or uh, or I'm in a sticky situation, I gotta take a step back and really ask myself, what's the best way to handle this situation? And I think that's about making good judgments in life. So when uh, going on to the next question, we're going to describe three critical trends transformative experiences I had in college. So I would say the first one would be moving away from home. This was very critical because uh, I was very family oriented and it was a culture shock coming from California to the first college I went to, which was in Kansas. Um, and why was this experience transformation uh, transformative? How do they better equip you to change the world through your vocational calling. So I think this equipped me from going from California to Kansas and having that culture shock being away from home. I think this equipped me by helping me learn how to deal with tough situations and how to overcome that. And also how to, uh, how to experience a different way of living uh because california is more of a, like a city life kansas at where i was staying at they were more of a i would say like a um, farmer lifestyle and so i felt like i was able to find a way to relate to these people and uh, you know overall grow my communication skills and so i think that's going to help me with my vacational calling. Uh, and then my second, my second critical transformative experience, I would say is when I broke my back, <laughs> going back to that, um, that really, that really changed a lot for me. Um, how do I think it's gonna help equip me through, through my vocational calling? I think that experience in itself, um, you know, I could tell people that I had, you know, that near-death experience, but also um, it helped me reflect on my character and helped me reflect on who I wanted to be. So with me wanting to be a PE teacher and a wrestling coach, I think I can find a way to relate to some of these kids when they're having a tough time. And tell them to take a step back and maybe reflect on what's going on and who they want to be. And maybe I can motivate them 
to do better and whatever they need. Um, and then my third uh, experience now, and I'm going to use it now, even though my son's not born, uh, I'm still in college, so I'm going to be having a kid next month. And I think this will better equip and change the world with me because with me becoming a dad, I think it's really going to make me uh, be less selfish and more about what's best for my family and how, what's the type of man I want to be and how do I want to lead by example with my son. And um, I think that's also going to transition to my uh, vocational calling with that. So, yeah. Um, what changes might you encounter as you go forth from King and try to pursue vocational calling? So I would say my changes uh, that I would encounter would be overall my preparation and my laziness needs to change. So um, I know that when preparing for things, I will be more successful. And when I'm lazy, you know, things aren't going to work out the way that I want them to work out. Uh, what in the end makes for a life that matters? And going back to the quotes, must my job be the primary source of my identity? And I'm going to go into that and then I have my second quote. So, you know, I think a job is very important. And it can, in a sense, identify you. So I think it's a yes or no question. But I think majority for me, what I want is to have a job that I enjoy, but also be a successful family man. For me, like family is everything. And so that's that's a life that matters for me. And then my last quote that I wanted to go into is, with whom and for whom shall I live for? And so with whom I'm saying with God, I should live with God and for whom shall I live for would be like my family. Uh, again, a big family man. And uh, yeah, that's my final. Thank you.